night, boys and girls. This is technically challenged. Well, hello. Um, this week's technical challenge is not going to be very technical at all, really. Uh, apart from a few questions and whatnot, that I feel should be addressed first. Uh, technical challenge, here we go. Sub and vaping. I've actually had people ask me what it was, and I thought it was a bit more prevalent than what I initially thought it was. Um, now, if I grab the Argo, which I worked on last week, there's no battery in this one, this is just sort of pretty fine. It's the process of taking um, an atomizer and faffing a bank with it to the point of it will only work on a mech or very clever variable voltage. And you'll be going below one ohm in um, resistance which currently, as we saw with the Arga, uh, I managed to get it down, not the Arga, sorry, I managed to get my dripper down to 0.7 ohms. Now, I'm going to attempt to get it lower. If I grab the dripper, get no battery in it, you can see that that's a, well, I don't know if you can see, actually, it's a different formation of my wick. It's doubled over. Um, what you can't see in there is it's in an S shape. That clamps on one side due to the nature, nature of the driver. I managed to get that down to 0 0.7 and got some fairly fat um, vapor out of it actually. Um, again, no battery in it, so I can't really show you. But again, we've widened the hole up here, and I shall widen that off again, and I'm going to look into more sub ohm techniques, and I'm going to try them. And now, I'm going to essentially going to try and do is I'm going to try and get my ohms down to 0.5 and lower. Um, and this is currently working out, it's taken out quite um, quite a while, quite a lot of practice, quite a lot of faffing around and technique trying and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to try and get me coils down to 0.5 maximum. I'm going to work on even fatter wicks and I'm probably going to punch in a 3 mil hole. Um, that may take some time, because I don't have 3 mil drill bits. However, quick trip to uh, B&Q will probably sort that out. Um, so, yeah, um, many are probably asking, why am I going to go to Well, frankly, I want to sit in here and hotbox myself. Um, perhaps you might catch me on one of the live hangouts, uh, either geeks or shenanigans, and I'll take a good old toot of me, uh, drip Aaron, dirty great big cumulo nimbus cloud comes out. I like the look of it, I fancy having a go, and I might as well share this with you. Um, so, we shall see, and uh, I'll keep you involved in my experimentations. Sorry there's not been a lot of technical doodabbery tonight. <coughs> um, to be fair, I've had a bit of a funny weekend and um, various other odds and sods affecting my life. And then just didn't really prepare properly. Much like yesterday's live JV. Um, for the prepared. Uh, so yeah, um, running so bad hot, but I made some notes now. I've got a better idea of what I'm going to do for tomorrow's um, newscast. So, yeah, there you go, brief description of cell bones, below one ohms vaping, fat coils, fat wicks, very few wraps. What I didn't mention is what I would normally do on that dripper to get about 1.2 ohms is do five, maybe six wraps around the coil, um, wick. That's four, and that's dropped it down to 7.7 .7 ohms. So I'm thinking, drop it down again, another one wrap, about three, maybe three and a half. And we've got my target area. But I'll let you know once I've looked into it a bit more and I've used that wick a bit more. 
I don't really like to put in a wick and just bin it just through sheer experimentation. Even though I've got plenty of material to do it with, I may as well just do it anyway. Um, but when I do, rest assured, you'll be watching it. Okay, I've been Fury 79. As always, you've been gorgeous. Thank you for your patience. I'm terribly sorry for not actually doing a proper tutorial, but um, I think this will probably give you a bit more of an idea of what I'll be doing in the future. Maybe even do a supplemental on, on say, Friday night. Possibly even Wednesday night. I don't know. We'll see. Take it easy. I'll see you soon.